Yes, it's always a process. So uh, one evening I had an idea about some chords and some melodies. And so I went to my working place, to my digital audio workstation and recorded some melodies, some harmonies. And the next days I was thinking about the lyrics and about the message that it uh, should sent to the public and uh, so after some time I just had inspirations and uh, during a, uh, a process I found the right melodies and after that I find uh, the right words for that and of course I wanted to give some yeah some hope and some affirmation that uh, tonight everything is going to be all right and that we are walking into the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, yes, hopefully we will all overcome this uh, period of COVID. And it's not easy for, for all of us. And so I wanted to give a little bit comfort and affirmation for my friends and listeners. Uh, just as I told you, I I was sitting and I'm always uh, thinking in terms of music and melodies. And uh, those this one evening, I just had this nice melodies in my head. So I went to my workstation and uh, as I told, I just recorded some tracks and then such piece of music it has to grow it has to evolve and uh, it has to be carved and uh, polished and so and then i introduced it to uh, my ideas to johan and he had and he always adds his ideas about the style of uh, deep house and tropical house and he always gives it uh, this uh, touch of, yes, of uh, deep, uh, deep house music. So uh, it's a collaboration with, with my friend Johan Perrier in Paris and we correspond with, uh, with email and with video talks like we do now. And uh, yes, after some weeks, sometimes it takes months, then yes, in the end you have a polished song that you can uh, release and publish to the public. Yes, it's tonight. Everybody's used to go out in the night, in the weekend, to go to parties, to go to clubs, to go to concerts and all this. It was not possible during the last two years. And uh, so, yeah, during the days when I had this idea about this song, this was time when clubs slowly but step by step started to open again with uh, less public, but uh, concerts were taking place. And I wanted to say, yes, here I am again. I will be in the club tonight and play a nice melody for you. Yes, uh, we always use uh, virtual instruments. We all work with computers and digital audio workstations. And most of the music is, uh, yes, just from computer sounds. Uh, only the voices, of course, are natural. And I wanted to add a real instrument. And then for me, from the beginning, it was clear I want a saxophone line. And I have a good friend, it's Johnny Muller. And uh, yes, he is a long time friend of mine. And uh, yes, we played <laughs> so many concerts together and the club evenings and uh, and other concerts. And then, 
Yes, it was time of COVID. Nobody of my friends and the musicians, they had nothing to do but sitting at home and, uh, <laughs> and praying for better days. So I called my friend Johnny Muller and uh, introduced this song and this melody lick that I invented and asked him, oh, please, can you record some saxophone lines for me? And he said, of course I will. I don't have my own studio, but I will go to my friend, uh, Michael Buckens, and he has a nice studio and uh, I will record it for you soon. And then it took maybe <laughs> four or six weeks and then, ah, hello, Michael, I recorded some lines for you and he sent it to me with his email, with his email account and yes, and I added it to my concept and I gave, of course, this uh, all material I gave to Johan so that he could make his arrangements for it. Yes, this is the, <laughs> that's the way our music is produced nowadays. It started in the beginning of the 80s, that computer was uh, step by step growing and uh, make more or, or had more importance in all the studio and music producing process. So uh, for me, it's very familiar to evolve my songs with help of computer software. I have my logic. It's a nice software. I have it already for, from the beginning, we started with Atari computers and Commodore computers in the beginning of the 80s. And yeah, since the 19th, we all have digital audio workstations with this uh, logic. Now it's, uh, I think it's version 10 or 12 or 11. I don't know. And uh, I use a very old one uh, for my Windows XP computer. And it's standalone. It's away from the internet so that it cannot be disturbed by anything. So it's a very safe and a very creative place where I can evolve and create my melodies and my songs. So this is a very normal process since beginning of the 80s, of course, when all these digital and, uh, and uh, synthesizers came uh, to the market and everybody wants to have one. And of course, all these production use this Oberheim and uh, Prophet 5 sounds and uh, yes, so it's a, it's an old, old story already since the beginning of the 80s when this, yes, this uh, dance sound and this Euro sound and Italo sound was born. It was beginning of the 80s. Uh, vinyl is something for collectors and for lovers of old sound equipment. And uh, in former times, everything was analog produced. It was on magnet tape. It was with very, very big mixer consoles. And it was many things played by natural instruments and recorded on multi-track, maybe 16 tracks or 40, uh, 24 track tape. And now we have this since, uh, yeah, since a long time, we have this digital uh, tools for producing music. You have a lot of more tracks. You can make tracks, tracks, tracks and combine them and mix them together. In former times, it was all analog. You had, you were reduced to 24 for tracks that you could record on the tape and then you had to mix it. And the whole procedure of producing and uh, 
yes, and making music is a total different procedure than uh, in the 70s, for instance. It was times of COVID, no parties, no concerts, no club, no dancing. So, and musicians sat at home, nothing to do but complaining about no concerts, no parties. And uh, so I thought to myself, Yes, get a message to the pe to the people, and maybe go tonight to the clubs, listen to the music, go to the dance floor, and have a good a good time together with your friends and lovers. So tonight everything is gonna be all right, and we're gonna dance into the light. This was my <laughs> inspiration. first introduced my version and then we talked about um, yes how it's gone, gonna be uh, to turned into a deep house song my demo was totally different sound i have a different sound maybe one day i will uh, publish my my demo for for this and uh, Johan was impressed by the saxophone and he said, wow, this is a very good idea. And I have already my way of producing and I know my, the elements that it takes to make a real tropical house song from it. And uh, yes, and then we always correspond and talk and say, yeah, this could be a little bit different or you can leave this or maybe you can add at this uh, part, you can add some instruments or some rhythm elements. And uh, so during this process, it uh, proceeds uh, to get a real carved and polished song in the end that you can publish. But it's always a very, very long process with try and error and uh, discussion and listening and listening and yes and discussing and so it's not from yesterday to today overnight uh, no song is uh, ever produced during one session so it always takes a long time it's a process I'm very happy that persons all around the world, it's not too many, but everyone is welcome. And yes, I can see my listeners on my Spotify for artists. And then I can see, yes, songs were listened all over the world, really. Some in Canada and the United States and Great Britain, even in, of course, India, and in Hong Kong, and in Japan, even in Japan, they listen to my songs, and even Systems in Blue is very famous all over the world, and we have so many followers, we have about 20,000 followers only on Spotify, and it's only Spotify that I can watch with my monitor on Spotify for artists. Yes, MS Project and uh, Systems in Blue, uh, they are two different projects. So sometimes Johan adds some of his mixes to uh, our productions. And even sometimes he and I, we add some songs of our repertoire to systems and blue, like on Melange Bleu, we had a real section, Johan and Blue Universe, we had some songs from our factory. And uh, 
Yes, and uh, Detlef and I, we plan maybe for the beginning of the next year, uh, two or three new songs, and we will form a new team because unfortunately our friend uh, Olaf uh, decided to uh, go a different way and uh, of course we have to accept that and that and for me it's a pity because we were a wonderful team during five years and uh, yes but uh, of course, the original <laughs> survivors from the old team. This is Detlef and I. And uh, yes, I send a prayer to my friends in heaven, Birger and uh, Rolf. I say, yes, rest in peace. But we are still here on earth and maybe we have still the task to... Uh, Yes, bring some songs in the old and uh, our style systems in blue style. And so I think there will be continuation beginning next year that we uh, will publish some new songs. And yes, maybe collaboration with some other artists, but this is uh, just a plan. And uh, I hopefully meet Ditlev next week. And uh, yes, then we can already start for new songs. So this is my plan for Systems in Blue. Next song will be in February or March. So we make three or four singles each day. I make, no, with uh, last year we started uh, with uh, what did we start? Uh, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I just can't remember the title of the song, but we had four titles. We had Wonderful Life. We have Tonight. We have uh, uh, some other own uh, compositions from Johan and me. And yes, next song maybe will be a cover again, or maybe uh, an old composition. I don't know. This is just a uh, future and uh, it will take some weeks till we start with our next single. So now it's tonight. This is our this is our uh, latest release and yes, I, as I can see it's, uh, it, it's listened all over the world and people like it and so they have to enjoy and not uh, the next song next week, so it's no possibility to really cherish the song and the atmosphere and so a song needs time to get into the minds of everybody, so we will wait till our next single release a little bit. Yes, we wanted to give uh, uh, friends and lovers of our music the opportunity to offer us their ideas about mixing one of our songs. And we had a lot of uh, yes, competitors and uh, this uh, sir from, I think he's from Russia, he made the best one and we let the public decide. And we had this release with this three winner titles. And I think it's a good contribution uh, to, and, uh, to see how others uh, arrange. And in this winner version, there were other instruments and other influences. And it was not to totally uh, a copy from the 80s, but it was with contemporary ideas and this is what what pleases me and of course I think you want to. Yes, we already had a collaboration with a man, his name is Michael Backens, Michael Backens, 
and he already sang choirs for Mark Ashley when we producing in 90, uh, in 2007, <laughs> in 2007, we were producing two, uh, two long players. It was our, it was our uh, second album, Out of the Blue and uh, Heartbreak Boulevard. And during this process, our best friend, Rolf Köhler, he passed away. And it was a very big shock, but we were in the middle of the production. So we took some time to get up a little bit over the shock. And then we asked this man, Michael Buckens, if he wants to join the choir. And we had already success with this. And maybe he will be the member of the next productions. He has a very, very nice voice and he has a nice character. And of course, he has a small studio. It's the person who recorded the saxophone for tonight. It's Michael Buckens. He has an, his own uh, studio. And Johnny Muller went, went to this place of Michael. He's, they are friends, of course. They, uh, they both played together in a band. And uh, so <laughs> the musicians, it's a big family. And yes, and you have a lot of friends and you have a lot, a lot of capable and talented musicians all around you inside the family. It's a family of musicians. We know each other already since many years. And many of us, we had uh, mutual con concerts and and gigs and uh, clubs and so it's it's just a telephone call away to find a person that uh, can join the club sometimes but maybe it's uh, maybe we will even uh, ask for other nice singers or teams for making remixes for us especially uh, and then uh, yes so now i have a veranda a terrace and uh, yes maybe in spring now it's uh, i just made a song from uh, <laughs> from a sailor song it's a very very famous this la paloma and it was saying goodbye to the summer. And uh, yes, maybe in spring I will join my uh, balcony or then uh, garden sessions again. So, but now it's, it's dark and cold. And uh, so we have real winter and it's, uh, it's a dark, dark side uh, time until Christmas. It's getting darker and darker, and after Christmas next year, it's getting more light into the world, and then we will wake up, and I will wake up, and I will go to my place and play simple songs with my guitar, and uh, yes, you can be confident and looking forward to These songs are not for guitar and campfire songs. I, this is what I make on balcony. It's very, very reduced. It's only one instrument and it's only one voice and it's recorded live. And Systems in Blue and Blue System and Modern Talking and all these stuff from the 80s. These are studio compositions. They are studio productions. And with a lot of, lot of tracks with instruments and a lot of tracks of overdubbed voices. And we were four persons in the choir in, in Modern Talking. So <laughs> how can one expect me to sing four voices at the same time? This is not possible. My balcony sessions and my uh, coming garden sessions, they are very reduced. They are reduced to, to guitar and one voice. And sometimes I play my, my uh, blues harp 
And then I have three instruments, but this is more I cannot offer. And uh, uh, I please apologize, but uh, uh, modern talking and uh, blue system is not the format that I can uh, perform on guitar. This is uh, this is not the format for reduced campfire songs. This is just singing along. And for all the persons who like to listen to my uh, balcony session, there are still so many songs. Maybe you did not hear and listen to all of them. I think it's more than 80 songs now on my channel. You can always return to my channel, Michael Scholz on YouTube, and then you can enjoy my wonderful balcony sessions and maybe you will even find some songs that you have never heard before. So this is my offer for you if you miss uh, balcony sessions. Go to my channel and listen to the songs that are already there and I'm sure you did not see all of them yet. Tales of thousand and one Nights for us have begun in our own fantasies. Maybe someday we'll part, trying to make a new start, calling out loud and strong. Here I am, lucky in love, and so on and so on. My message is keep calm, get your vaccine shot, keep away from big crowds as long as COVID-19 is dangerous for everyone. It does not make a difference between rich and poor, and it does not make a difference between young and old. So be patient, be careful, and stay safe and stay healthy. Times were hard, are lost in danger, a broken heart, a lonely stranger. I wait till the dawn, the morning will bring back the light. The wind was cold. Never give up, keep holding on to my dream. So sad that you are away, so far away from my heart. I keep on longing and pray, give us a chance for a start. Cause you're my lady, my mystery, you are my destiny, live in a dream, you would come back to me, my mystery, you are my majesty, my love will last till eternity.